Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once again, once again. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, Tainted Forgotten. Did we already, let me just check, did we already do Tainted Forgotten recently? We did. I'll give it another reroll, but if it's not someone I like, I'm going Tainted Forgotten. Yeah, we're going Tainted Forgotten. <laughs> Yeah, get away from me, Jacob and he's out. No, thank you. So we want to do Dark Path this time with this guy. I actually really like this character, so I don't mind playing him again so soon. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I will say, I'm jumping into this episode. Ooh, Parasitoid is very nice. Although, does Parasitoid work with this guy? Also, what the hell? My game is, like, lagging. What the F? A mod did just update, so it could be that. Although I think it might just be Burning Basement. Oh, is this another... This is another a classic Ipecac shitfest room. Holy hell. Gotta love it. So many enemies. But yes, I don't have a ton of time for this episode, I have to admit. I have a, a busy work schedule today, but I thought... What better way to start a busy day than a little bit of Isaac. A little bit of Isaac. I do like it, I do love it, and I do want some more of it. Uh, but for today's question of the day, for today's question of the day, what is the most stressful thing that's happened to you as of late? What has been, I, I just, I'm onto this because yesterday was a really stressful day for me at work, and I won't go into the details, but essentially, I just had to, I was already doing a lot, and then I got a lot more work piled on top of me that I wasn't expecting at last minute, and so it made the day a little more difficult than it should have been, really. Um, but yeah, what's what's the most stressful thing that's happened to you as of late? Um, I will most definitely take this, thank you. Converts pickups into burn orbitals. That's actually pretty decent, but we're not going to be able to afford it this run, so... Oop, I don't know why I threw it at you. Um, by the way... I, would, I wouldn't regularly do this, but for those of you that don't know already, which most of you already do, this series is on somewhat of a backlog. It's been on about a five-day backlog for a while now. I've not really built my backlog, backlog back up since I got COVID. I've still been sort of um, running dry on a pretty light backlog, which... Five is actually a pretty good amount, but, but for me, that's a light backlog. I've had, uh, during the repentance days, I had a 72 video backlog. I could upload videos for three months every single day without a recording anywhere in between and still have videos to spare. So a uh, five days backlog is pretty weak for me. <laughs> I need to rebuild it at some point, which means I need to record more than once in a day, that's all. Um, which so, so, sometimes I'm really inspired to do, sometimes I'm not, it depends. Um, do you know what? Maybe I'm gonna go mother. Maybe I'm gonna go mother. There's not as many unlocks down the mother path, but mother is fun. Um, planetarium right off the bat, that's pretty beautiful. And we don't know what we're getting, so... Bloody beautiful. I don't even know how this works with this guy, but I'm sure we'll find out pretty soon. Um, okay, we've got just all hidden items. Honestly, deck of cards is incredible. An ace of hearts is pretty good. Okay, the, th the frame rate doesn't seem to be too bad on this floor. I think it was just something to do with burning basement. But yeah, I, I wouldn't do this very often, but I have a backlog on my videos, and so I don't, I don't get to, like, respond to comments that I've responded to in the comment section in videos until, like, basically a week later. Oh, that is satisfying. Um, but I got a comment yesterday that really, really annoyed me. And honestly, I wouldn't regularly address hate comments or negative comments or anything like that. They don't really affect me. I get them every now and again. I quite literally don't care. Also, this is ridiculously powerful. Uh, I quite literally don't care. But basically, I got um, I got a run where I got... Uh, oh, this is the champion badge from this guy, I just realised. Where I got... I can't remember what it is now. Um, the, the pride badge from Ipecac, which is literally an item that gives you the mini boss pride as a follower, as a familiar... Um, and he just he just runs around and, and helps you out and attacks things and because it's just called pride They made it into a pride badge and it makes your tears rainbow colored. I think it's a pretty a pretty good little item there Um, I, like I have nothing Like absolutely nothing wrong with it. Do you know what? I'm not gonna go devil deal either. Yeah, I have absolutely nothing wrong with it I think it's a pretty cool item and I put it in a thumbnail I put it in a thumbnail, put the pride badge in a thumbnail because it was a pretty core part of my run. The, the, the two things I tend to do when making thumbnails is I tend to, um, what's the reverse temperance again? 
Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to take five kills. Um, I tend to either choose the most interesting items in a run or the most powerful items in a run and put those in the thumbnail. Um, just because those are the ones that people like seeing. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of you will agree. The reason that you clicked on this video here is because uh, Uranus was in the thumbnail, almost definitely. Um, so it's just kind of like that's just the way YouTube works, right? Um, did I miss a cash room on the other floor? I, I can't remember. But anyways, yeah. So, that that's what I did. And I thought, just because I got the pride badge and it was one of the core features of the run. Ooh, we were getting pets all over the place. We got Parasitoid, which doesn't seem to work. Whirling Leech and the Keeper's Kin. A lot of interesting stuff here. Uh, I thought it would just be kind of a funny little thing to, um... I'm going to try the secret room, by the way. To add the title onto the video. Not the actual YouTube description, like the YouTube visual title, the one in the thumbnail, as loud and proud. Because it's like it's like gay pride. It's just I just I just thought, what the heck? I think it kind of fits. I always try to go with something that's, that's vaguely pun related or something like that. Um and someone commented something like, um, gay pride flag in the thumbnail, loud and proud. Get your politics out. I just want to watch a video game. Fuck you. Go away, get out my videos, you stupid prick. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't be so harsh, but fuck off. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make a statement. And also, supporting gay rights isn't a statement, you pleb. Go away. Get out of my comments. Absolutely fuck off. <laughs> like harsh words I know, but I'm sure ooh, Eden Soul or Decca cards. I'll take Eden Soul. I'll take Eden Soul. Um, yeah, just, it just, it annoyed me so much, because this person seemed to think that because I'd put a pride flag in my thumbnail, that I found in-game and done a relevant title, because that's what I do with all of my fucking thumbnails, I pick a relevant title to the items that I got, they seem to be offended because I mentioned gay, like, I mentioned something about gay pride. It's like, go away. Yeah, if you have some weird insecurities about people that are gay, then do that on your own time. Get the fuck out of my comment section. <laughs> Go away. Luckily, someone did um, did in the comments stand up for like for for me and sort of what I was talking about, and I, I'm, I'm very grateful of that. And it's just yeah, I wouldn't normally even bring this up, but and and that this person probably doesn't even watch the videos anymore. Or at least I hope they don't. I don't want people like that watching my videos. Um, but yeah, just just go away. <laughs> like. I wasn't trying to make a fucking statement. I wasn't trying to be political, as you so stupidly inclined. Grab that, actually. Yeah, it's just, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. <laughs> uh, secret room's probably here, actually, right? Okay. I don't get very hot-headed about much. But when people, like, sort of claim that I'm doing something when I'm not, Especially when it's something fucking stupid. I'm like, no. Oh, that was... That was the dumbest loss of perfection you might ever see in a human being. That was... That was just ridiculous. Where, where the hell's my... Oh, it'll be in the boss room. Where I, was, I was like, where the hell's my other trinket? Right, I just have to pause real quick. Okay, let's carry on. Let's carry on. I love that unintrusive pause menu, by the way. So cool. I like the fact that it has our thingies on it as well. Our completion max. Anyways, ran over. Ran over. It's like, man. It's I, I say ran over. Ran isn't really over. It's 2022. Get over yourself. People are gay. Calm down. Right. Let's go. Ooh, good bit of money there. Where do we want to pop our Eden so I, I'm guessing Secret Room's the best way forward, right? I, I always forget, is this the one that, that does a random item pool or chooses the item pool that you're in? I'm going to pretend it's item pool that you're in and just go to the Secret Room and hope for the best. But I don't actually know for sure. By the way, um, I, I have suggested stuff like stuff for this Whirling Leech item before. I really like that they look like the spiders and flies now. Ah, uh, plum flu. Okay, that's actually really good because we can grab that after this, uh, after we pop Eden Soul if we don't get a space for item. 
Um, one suggestion that I'd, I'd love to see, just as an extra synergy if you're watching, I think it's from Prian's pack, um, make it so that if you have Parasitoid tiers and you have Whirling Leech, that uh, Parasitoid can spawn leeches too. That'd be pretty cool. I think, I think that'd be pretty nice. This is also a pretty good... Um, a pretty good active item there, but honestly, I haven't used Plum Flute in a good while, and I really do like Plum Flute. I, I absolutely love this little crazy synergy we've got going on here. It's pretty awesome. We've got an Eternal Champion thing here. To be fair, would this give us Angel Deal? Book of Judges. Passively spawns targets on the floor whenever entering a new room with with monsters. Every three seconds, beams of light will strike at the target positions. Beams hurt enemies and inflict bail on them, but they hurt you too. Using the book will cancel the effect for the current room. Eh. Not too interested in that, actually. Where's the half soul heart? This is the half soul heart in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, secret room. I already tried there. Let's try here. Damn it. Really need to find a secret room. Um, it could very well be here, but I honestly don't know how to, like, access that. I absolutely love the synergy. I, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever had the synergy before, but it just works so well. Okay, it's almost definitely here, actually. And it does so much damage too. I th I'm pretty sure it's here. There you go. Right. Oh. That is evil. <laughs> I'm not even picking those up. Those are bad. Actually, to be... F to be fair... To be fair... Samson's chain... Actually isn't... Do you know what? I'll take them both, whatever. I was going to leave them both out of just spite, but Samson's chain might not be so bad just because we can throw this guy and destroy rocks by throwing. In fact, this is actually a very positive synergy because we have Keeper's Kin. Now, that part, of the, that, that part of this whole equation I did not consider. Actually have a very, very good synergy going on here. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy. I was, I was going to be really, really salty. Going to be a salty little boy. But I've changed my salty ways. I don't know why this runs particularly. I'm getting really bad frame rate. And I have been since before I picked up any items as well. It's it's peculiar. Like, the only mod I know... Wait. What the hell? Uh, scroll? There's like a lock on my on my keyboard. And I don't know what it is. There's like a light up lock. I don't know what that is. I'm confused. But yeah, like... I don't know if I've done anything differently, or if a mod updated and broke things. Um, I guess I'll keep an eye on it. Hope for the best. We're going to have a lot of spiders, pretty much all the time. Baby plump, do 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 plump. Go, my big fella. Oh my lord, you one-shot him. You big fat king. Salty soup is fine by me. Does Trisagian even do anything? On a... It's like, this is this is difficult, because I kind of want to take Vade Retro. Do you know what? I'm going to take Vade Retro. I realize that I just got Plum Flute, but I haven't used Vade Retro in a really long time. I was also apparently going to go Mother. Remember when I said that? Yeah, remember when I said that, and then I just completely just disregarded everything that I said? We got a stars card. Honestly, I'm going to pop that right now. Hey, I love this item. I don't know how it's going to work, to be honest. In fact, does it work? Maybe it doesn't. Another synergy to add, Prian. Get on it, boy. <laughs> yeah, th like, what the dickens is going on? My game's running at, like, 30 FPS right now, which is, like, half the FPS it should. Holy hell. 
we got a laggy boy inbound, and I don't know what's causing it. Right, I'm just gonna do one thing, one second. Let's let's just clean this, like clear this room. I'm just gonna quickly. Oh, for God's sake! I said clear the room. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> right. I'm going to, going to quickly pause and reboot my game and see if that helps. Okay, we are back in, and unfortunately, it's oh, it's unfortunately exactly the same. I I really don't know what's causing it. What? We'll live. Oh, what the hell? It's a way harder enemy. <laughs> and I say we'll live, but it, it is just slightly frustrating when you can when you get like random like my, my game's been running really well recently, and then you get like random lag out of nowhere that is basically completely unexplained. The literal only thing that I can think think of that's changed is and the Andromeda mod was updated between me recording, but I just don't see how that could possibly cause lag. Yeah, that's literally the only thing that's changed. Unless it's just playing as tainted, um, forgotten. It's just causing issues. I doubt it, though. That'd be really weird. I keep getting hit here, but I'm, like, kind of okay with it, to be honest. How are you not... What? Ah! Stop getting hit, you nincompoo. keep getting hit by random crap but then again i suppose i get hit it's a little devastating but i do get my leeches my leeches are pretty pretty dope that was just a dumb hit but we have holy mantle so it doesn't matter and you get a bunch of leeches on you too i am actually surprised that veered retro works with uranus normally uranus um when it th turns things into ice it doesn't count as them dying so i thought maybe they wouldn't spawn a um they wouldn't end up spawning a little ghost i will check this out Sanguine Bond. Sanguine Bond is pretty lovely. I do like it, but I think both of those items are potentially very time consuming, and I don't have time for that. I'm also, I'm drinking a protein shake right now. I have taken it upon myself to actually get physically fit. Um, I wouldn't even say physically fit. Just get not fat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I w I'm definitely not like really fat, but I'm overweight. And um, I have been since COVID. It's not good. I think everyone has been since COVID pretty much. I'm definitely the heaviest I've been. And I come from a family of large, large people. So <laughs> my dad is like 22 stone. So it's like, probably don't want to um, follow his... Follow his footsteps and end up like that. I mean, like, not not that like, and there's anything wrong with that particularly. I mean, you obviously it's unhealthy, but my dad's like perfectly happy as he is. <laughs> it's fair enough you, if uh, if you like eating food and don't like exercising, that's fair. But then again, my dad's like a painter and decorator and does like exercise like, literally all day, does like hard manual labor every single day, and I, I don't know how he doesn't lose any weight from it. But I guess it's just when you get used to the routine of it all, isn't it? Um. But anyways, yeah, I just want to try and avoid, make it, like, make sure that I don't get to that weight, because it's pretty unhealthy. Um, and for those, of you, for any of you out there that are at that weight, again, don't feel bad about it. If you, if you are happy with yourself, and you are okay with the potential health implications, then fair be it. I'm not going to say for any, I'm not going to say that anyone, uh, has any requirements to lose weight. Just, personally for me, um, for one, I kind of need to, like I said, because, like, my family history it would be a good idea. But also, um, my girlfriend is pretty insistent. <laughs> oh, I, I think the Vade Retro Explosions can freeze enemies. I need to, I need to test this. Yeah, unfortunately, not a great room to test it. You bastard. Oh my god, why can't I throw over pits anymore? I, I swear you used to be able to. Am I just going crazy? Am I just going crazy? I know that we've got a lot of money, but I really don't care about shops at this point. Although, I will check this this little outcut to the right here. Because that's not that far of a backtrack. And we could end up getting a sack room, which would also be useful. Hello, sir. Freezer. All my boys. Oh my lord. Okay. Check this out. 
We did get a very, very good item. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually make any difference because it doesn't really affect floors that don't have shops, but hey her, we got it. Hey ho, we got it. Oopsie, accidentally spent a heart on that guy. Okay, so this is Red Mum. Um, let's try and crack some rocks open here. If possible. Why is my Samson's chain just sitting on top of the rocks and not destroying them? That's not how that works. Oh, shit, there's a spider there. Okay, I do remember Mum is always a bit of a pain. Okay. Let's just take it easy. Take the free hits when we can get them. Try and get it to step on all of this crap. Come on. Step on me, mother. Step on me. Boom. We do have boss rush, which I don't think we've done before. No, we haven't. Oh, you bastard. Doesn't... I... I, I no. Also, what's all this crap in my in my thingy? What's going on here? Remove Polaroid. Wait, does it have to be the Polaroid? Give. I'm not having that ruin this run. <laughs> right. Midas touch. Boy. As much as I'm trying to be speedy here, I do have to do boss rush, so it's one of our completion marks, so might as well try it. Also, having Midas Touch is pretty interesting with this setup, because now we freeze things into both gold and ice. I like that quite a lot. I also like the idea of having just a red donkulous amount of Vade Retro setups. You get out of here, you. Oh, the frame rate is making this pretty painful. That didn't kill you? What doesn't kill you must make you stronger, because otherwise you should be dead. Froze you, boy. One good thing as well, if you if you don't know, um, Midas Touch actually increases your damage to contact enemies the more money that you hold. So because we're getting ridiculous amounts of money here, throwing our dude directly into an enemy does a lot of damage. So we really don't want to be swinging. We always want to be throwing because we just do a really high amount of damage when we throw. Like, look at that! Look at that amount of damage. We basically do like a quarter of his health every time we throw. Which isn't insane damage, but it's very good. It's respectable. We're almost at full damage now. One second. Right, let's carry on. This is a pretty interesting setup we got going on though. Turning everything into gold and ice. Dude, Vade Retro is absolutely letting me down right now. I thought I'd be doing absolutely crazy damage because it's like boss Wait, why is the, the horse thing so strong? Also, why do I walk into enemies all the time? Oh, bastard. I think, I just want to say, I think I've just got really low speed and I just checked. I, I don't have really low speed, but the lag is making it feel like I do. I need recall. Like, look, I'm, I'm not really doing much pest swing, and I don't really have a great fire rate, so it's like, really, oh my god, my best course of action is throwing. Do you know, I'm starting to feel like it may have been a little bit of a mistake to do boss rush. Like, I'm not doing terribly, but I'm doing way worse than I thought I'd be doing. Like, I thought this would be an absolute breeze with the setup we've got going on, but... It's really not that, not that good. I mean, we are freezing enemies very, very often, which is very helpful.
Like, I, I, I think the fact that you can Midas Touch a boss is pretty awesome. Yeah, you can Brimstone all you want, dude, but you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Deep Pockets would be a good pickup. That would be some insane Midas Touch damage. Got to remember as well, the Wrecking Ball is also hitting enemies sometimes, doing some extra damage too. But we're getting a lot of extra damage from a lot of sources here. That's a Soul Heart, that's beautiful. Like, look, look at that damage to the pile there. I thought that was going to absolutely shit on him. Like a Dingle just kind of did. Oh, dude, that is not fair. <laughs> don't telefrag me like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, we got we got Frail and Pain. I was like, where the fuck's my boss is at? Oh, Pin? I don't I didn't even attack Pin. Pin just died. Ooh. Eternal versions of bosses here. What the hell's good? Oh, this is confusing. So I think these dudes count as mini bosses or something. Yeah, oh, wait, I think the balls that he's got counted for mini-bosses. I don't know. That was confusing. More eternal bosses. Honestly, being able to freeze them makes this a lot easier. I love the eternal bosses, though. I'm really liking them. Apparently, this mod does add a good bit of lag, too. But honestly, I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of FPS for a mod that adds, like, a lot more content. And difficulty, which it definitely is. <laughs> Look at this, absolute train. Do the same thing back to back to him. And I bombed you as well. Get wrecked. We did it. King of Clubs is unlocked. And we got ourselves Kidney Stone, which is decent enough. Right, let's go. Let's be on our way. So at the start of the floor, we're going to get golden pennies. Oh, wait. Um, I have to activate kidney stone to be able to throw this. That's pretty awesome. Automatically charges that up. Lord, 36 FPS. What is going on? Shit has gone down, I tell you. Blood Puppy, my favourite boy. I do not know why I walked out that door. Please do not ask me. God damn. It's just like this, this run doesn't feel like it's that complicated, but one of the items we have must be contributing. But like I said, it was already like to start with. Oh my god, every time I get, um, what's it called? Kidney stone started up. I'm always really confused because it won't let me throw this dude. Right, quickly go back this way, blow up all that crap. I just want to check in here for health because there's often black hearts in here. Oh my god, we finally got one of these to pay out. Holy hell. That is a miracle. It's the first time I've had one of those chests pay out with something positive. Almost always, that just gives me nothing. Ooh, he's uh, he's getting, he's getting some. But we got him, and now for the boss. We are kind of blasting through here. Use that. Ow. Losing health ridiculously rapidly here. We did get a devil deal. I'll at least check it out. A damage upgrade is very nice. Nah, both of those are a bit too late. Sack dagger is nice, but we've already got a lot of contact damage anyways. Right, Kidney Stone is ready to go again. Ow, there was a spiked rock there apparently. Did not see that. 
I'm hoping we don't die on this run, but it's honestly plausible. <laughs> Oh shit, there's another fucking enemy, I didn't realize. Yeah, it's genuinely plausible, unfortunately. I'm trying my best to avoid. Worst room to get this in. Enemies that fucking don't let you shoot at them are the worst. Just let me attack you, you stupid prick. <laughs> I love that he's just flailing. Why did I do that? Waste of a key. Oh, we got something. Oh. Bob Shrotten Head. Might be a little more valuable, actually, than Vave Retro at this point. Vave Retro is proving to not be that useful. This will at least, like, guarantee one-shots and some bosses and stuff. Okay. Hopefully we're going the right way now. No, we most certainly are not. We're never going the right way, are we? Never. Come on, spiders. Actually attack the enemy that's in front of your face, please. Oh, for God's sake. I'm gonna die. To be fair, like I said, the frame rate is not helping. I'm having a hard time dodging things as normal. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Why? No. I wasn't ready. I don't even know where Bob's Rotten Head went there. I have no idea. What the hell? Why is that bomb up near me? Right near the other box. Dude, dude, dude. Why? At least I had a, a holy mantle in the boss fight. Thank you, Blanket. Thank you, Blanky. Down we go. Right. Dude, why is it charging again? Stop doing that. Honestly, kidney stone was a bad idea. I thought it was going to help me. It's hindered me so much. Got some health at least. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, I need like a, I need like a background mod diagnosis team to like help me figure out why some of my runs just lag like crazy. Cause it does make the video significantly harder to record, I will say. Cause it basically, it means the whole video takes an extra like 50% of the amount of time cause literally the game is running slower, but also it just makes it more difficult to play. Um, and this isn't like a, a really egregious example. It's not been terrible today, but it's, it's not been great either. And it just, yeah, it'd be, be good to just have, like, a diagnosis team that I just, that just I can work with to figure out what causes this sort of crap. Here font. That puts us in the running for a win, I think. Oh, kidney stone! Stop it! It's like the worst timing always. Dude, it won't even charge up now. Kidney stone is an anti-synergy with this boy. This is an annoying room. I <laughs> not taking a not taking a second look at that, thank you. Okay. Dude. 
Why'd you miss? And also now I've got to charge up again. I mean, it does mean that I can do a lot more damage. But it's still pretty difficult to time. Don't you dare fly away, sir. Thank you. 36 FPS, what's going on? Somebody, somebody tell me what the fuck is happening. It's certain time. Damn it, little early. Again, this is what this is what I mean. Because my frame rate is like 15 lower on average than normal, I literally mistimed that. <laughs> and like I keep charging up for kidney stone and letting go too early because it's not charging in the right amount of time. Oh my fat buddy, my, my chubby little fella's go, going wild. What's it what, why is he why is Satan being put What the hell's going on? Ah! Dude, no, what are you doing, my chubby buddy? Why is he moving him around like crazy? This is not good. Oh, oh God. Okay, never, what in the fuck is happening right now? I never knew chunky buddy had such a negative interaction with Satan. Oh my god, he does it to the feet as well. It's like he has a vortex in his mouth. Oh my god. Oh no. I froze my buddy. I actually died on this fight. Wow. Okay. 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 At least we got boss rush, but we've got... Damn. That was... Killed by who I thought was my friend. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. I'll see you guys in the next one.